many cameras that you can buy on eBay, many of the Kodak cameras. As a matter of fact, there's a large number of cameras just about by many, many manufacturers that made cameras that take 620 film. And people may be saying, Well, what is 620 film? And there's no mystery. Whoa, whoa, Mike. Yes, John. What's 620 film? 620 film is nothing more than 120 film on a different screen. Oh, it's just skinnier. This is a Kodak invention. They made a format of film called 620, and it's no different than one, here's 120 film, which is the roll film still being manufactured. And here is 620 film spool. These days, if you pick up a camera, let's say on eBay or at a garage sale, and it takes 620 film, you can buy 620 film on the 620 spools from companies like B&H Photo. Mm. But they're charging like twelve yeah. ninety nine a roll. Oh, wow. Oof. Because all they're doing is taking 120 film and l- re-rolling it to a 620 spool. So you may ask, well, how can I do this? Well, where do you get the spools, first of all? It's an excellent question. I would recommend eBay.com. So to, in order to roll your own film... Roll you, your own? You first need to acquire the spools, which the main difference, I said, is the, the little the, uh, hub... The 120 is larger, the 620 is much narrower. This area circumference is uh, smaller, but the film size is the same. You will need a dark room or a film changing bag. Once you acquire your 620 film spools, you just buy your favorite film stock on 120, and then in a bag or in a dark room. Uh, there's a few methods available on YouTube.com. Uh, my method um, allows less... Um, problems when rolling back because this, the film is taped at a certain point. Uh, so for me, I always get two 620 film spools and I start at the head of the 120 roll and in the bag I usually just take the nice new 120 film. This is my test roll of 120 which it's okay if we ruin r- ruin it or ruin. As, we, ru- ru- as we say here, <laughs> ruin it. Ruin it. Yes. And I take the head and I roll it onto the 620 spool. Not very complicated. Mm. But no. And remember, you'll be doing this in the dark. And there it Here's is. Here's the tape. Yep. Here's the piece of tape. And by rolling first to a 620 spool, you're uh, applying the proper tension to it so when you roll it back, there won't be a big bulge here. That's the biggest worry part. So, so you continue rolling until you get the whole... And once you get used to this, you'll be zipping through it. Yeah. <laughs> At the end of a, your roll of 120 film, you'll see that there is no tape. So you continue so to you roll have to, in you the have dark. to tape it yourself? Or, oh. No, no. So now we're at the tail end. You'll find this thingy, which is the uh, little, tab, yeah. little tab. So, okay, now part one is done. There's your 120. Now, now you take the second 620 film spool and you... Roll it back up again. Roll it back up. There are some points that you may hit some danger. I will show you those points. Now, you're rolling in the dark, so you start your process. Close your eyes. I don't need to close my eyes right now. I've done this a million times. And you're just kind of pressing on that that other roll to get the tension built up? Yes. So the tension is the same. Now, the danger part is at the tail end of the spool, the film is not taped. So it's very easy. I'm going to show you the, the pitfall. If you don't look out for it, you will miss the film. And all of a sudden, in the dark, let me find it. No. You will want to know what is going on. It, okay, here comes the film. There it is. Oh, and See, I've already it, done yeah, I've it. Already, it already started rolling back up on itself. I've already done it wrong. Now, I wasn't paying attention by you know using my fingers to feel where the film is, and I missed the film. Here it is. So if you miss catching the film under, what happens is you'll just lose it. And by the time you keep going, I've done this before, and uh, ruined a roll of film. I was like, <laughs> and it's going to be a while. Like, oh. What is that? And in the dark, I couldn't figure out what was going on. Yeah. I was oh, like, and you panic because you're in the on? dark. Yeah. So I actually had to ruin a roll of film to take it out of the dark bag to be like, oh, stoops, stupid. So when you're re-rolling it back to the head, 
you have to be really aware of where the film starts because it's not taped down. Mm -hmm. And then very carefully with your fingers, have to kind of make sure you tuck it under. And now the film is caught properly. There you go. And now you could roll the 120 film back to the head. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Can you first roll it up on another 120 spool? Do you need to have the two? Well, there are people that have rolled, not rolled it using any spool. They just unrolled it and then rolled it back. Right. And then there are other folks that have used the 120. But why use the 120? Because the, mm. it's, not, it's not the same. You get a feel for the other spool, yeah. I guess. I just didn't know if there were any advantages to having two 620s. Now I'm coming to the taped portion. And here it is. As you can see, there's no major bulge. Looks good. But if there was, let's say there's like a major bubble here, a bulge. This was just sticking out like this, and you is a major problem. Then you would just simply simply untape the film in the dark, and then you would just smooth it out and then retape it. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. And now you're back. Now you're back to the head of the roll. There you go. Pop. And now you are ready to. Insert this into your camera. And for that four minutes, you'll pay 12 bucks at B&H. Yes. Once you get the hang of it, because a, a film changing bag, small, I recommend, is only about $15 on ebay.com. Uh, once you make the investment and get some spools going, uh, you're all set, and it really doesn't take long. And I, I know this may sound funny, but I actually enjoy rolling my own film. Yeah. A key thing to note, that when you send your roll of film out to the lab, Make sure you put a large note, big note, sometimes two notes, maybe three notes, yellow highlighter, to please return my film spool. People have asked me. Will they do that? Yeah, you just got to ask. The answer is absolutely. Return my sp film spool. And if you get your film back and they did not return your sp film spool, get on the blower. Where is my 620 film spool? I asked for it. I need it back. Because these things are very valuable. Mm -hmm. They're like five, ten bucks each. Wow. You know, depending on you know when and where you get them. Another option, which I do sometimes, because sometimes I just don't feel like bother writing the note. <laughs> you could, very simply, in the dark bag, roll it back off, and then roll it back onto the 120 spool. Ah. Then you send the 120 spool with the film and to the lab. You don't have to worry about it. You, you don't have to worry about. You don't. You don't got to worry about nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got to worry about nothing. Yeah. So that's how you roll 120 film onto a 620 spool. If you have any questions, you can always send me an email at filmphotographypodcast at gmail.com. Oh.